All right, just finished up at the James Monroe Museum. I grabbed something to eat and I'm going to check out the Masonic Cemetery. And I tried to uh, tried to come over here a couple weeks ago after I visited the lodge. Uh, it was closed. And yes, yeah, so this place was established 1784. This land was given to the lodge by Fredericksburg Mayor James Somerville. And uh, obviously, obviously a lot of Masons buried in there and uh, a lot of other uh, prominent figures from the area. So we're gonna go check it out. see about 270 graves in here and along the back wall are members of a lodge that had split off in 1799 lasted up until about the Civil War and uh, up here are some prominent Fredericksburg figures uh, Hugh Mercer he's buried up in Philadelphia Fielding Lewis I know he's not married buried in here uh, but yeah I know George Whedon he, he's in there somewhere so all right, go check this place out. All right, spent the last half an hour walking around a graveyard and, uh, Found some uh, more, I guess, popular tombstones. And this one here, uh, Christiana Campbell. She owned a tavern out in Williamsburg during the Revolution. And uh, was frequented by the uh, Masons out there. Frequented by George Washington, Thomas Jefferson. And she made it to 70 years old. Died March 1792. Born, I guess it would be 1733. And, um, yeah. The, uh, the tavern made it until 1859 when it burned down. Then it was rebuilt uh, 1956, and it's part of uh, it's still active. It's part of uh, Colonial Williamsburg, and if you've been out there, you'd be familiar with it. It's a pretty popular restaurant. And so here is Benjamin Day. He was the Grand Master of the Masonic Lodge during during its heyday, and uh, also another uh, veteran of the uh, of the Revolution. Obviously, a lot of masons buried out here. So, right next to him is Charles Yates, and yeah, another veteran. And he was a, a prominent merchant here in Fredericksburg. Don't know too much about him, but uh, I've seen his name thrown around at a lot of uh, the different museums I've been to. veterans from the revolution in the war of 1812 so this guy over here John Minor again fought in the revolution war of 1812 died in Richmond died in 1816 and then over here this is George Washington's nephew son of Betty Washington Lewis and Fielding Lewis from over at Kenmore made it to 60 years old his wife and son are buried over here and his son Robert T Lewis he died 17 years old and then found this guy I don't know who he is but um colonel during the revolution Gustavus Wallace so. Mason. All right, over here, this guy, George Rowe, he was a preacher, uh, preached over at Salem Church and also the Shiloh Church over there on Sophia Street. Uh, it was a black church. Don't know who this guy or don't know who this lady is but the name stood out Mary Randolph Carter uh, Randolph Carter is two of the biggest uh, first families here in Virginia 
and like I said earlier, a lot of the uh, masons from that branch that had broken off in 1799 buried back there. Over here, this guy, Lewis Little Page. And if anybody's familiar with Little Page Road, over there by Sunken Road and over by the National Cemetery. And uh, he was a diplomat, worked over in Spain. And let's see. Died 1802, made it to 39 years old, I guess. Born in 1762. Right. and uh, here's a pretty big one I'm surprised the tombstone's not bigger it's George Whedon Brigadier General uh, Continental Army uh, major player during the Revolutionary War uh, he was on the boat crossing the Delaware with George Washington fought of course uh, Battle of Trenton um, played a major role Battle of Yorktown and then he became mayor of Fredericksburg 1785 so Oh, and his wife was married to Hugh Mercer's sister, so I guess he would be his uh, brother-in-law. So, oh, there's another one over here. All right, so this guy Robert Brooke, he was a uh, Virginia governor, and he's a descendant of the Tolliver family, another big uh, first family here in Virginia. And Brooke County uh, in West Virginia, which at the time was Virginia, named after him. And uh, Brooks were a pretty big family in the area. All right, and this big one right here, this is for Basil Gordon. And he was uh, thought to be America's first millionaire. And um, he owned a... Uh, uh, merchant business he, uh, he uh, shipped uh, tobacco over to England and major player in Falmouth and if anybody's familiar with Amy's Cafe uh, over there in Falmouth uh, he built that it was originally a general store uh, across the street uh, the building across the street was a warehouse and he actually owned several buildings on the road uh, leading up to uh, Route 1 over there so a couple of his family members buried over here Anyway, alright, that's it. I'm getting out of here.